Oh, we are now moving into the winners round. Is flyer three, is? yeah, Flyer three F is going. In. He's normally a Kirby player, but I think he's someone who has a DDD. He must have bought. Maybe Kirby went expensive. Flyer three F is in the. This is the winner's third round, right? The winner of these will go to the semifinals. Right now he is uh, King DDD, right? And he is playing against Cree as a Diddy. That's a Diddy call. Yeah, Cree actually bought like five characters, five, five or six characters. He, he bid on most of He bid on all of them, maybe just to drive it up, you know, for the children or whatever. For the children. Or maybe just to stifle some people. I don't really know what quite his notes were, but he bought like three or four or five. Well, the children definitely benefited from. Mostly from the, mostly at first from the top tier ones too. He got like he got a, a Diddy Kong for cheap. He got a. Did he choose? He got a Rosalina for cheap. Who did, who did pick? Oh, okay. Did he? Did he? Did he? Oh, you can see right there in the corner. That's so easy. Yeah, right. I just figured that out too. Wait, it says Kong. All right. So here's our match. I don't know about this matchup. But Didi is a little slow in there for. Uh, Didi's huge. It's so easy to hit him. Yeah. This is going about how I thought. Didi, Didi, Didi can just really get more space in there. Can't really, get, can't really get an attack in. Diddy Kong was nerfed a lot since the, since the first oh, smash patch. The first smash patch, he was ungodly. He had the hoo ha. The hoo ha. The hoo ha. But he's still a pretty solid. Still very player. viable. Like, I, I really like his, his down throw into his aerials work very well. Not quite as well as he used to. And then, and of course, banana peel. Which always bananas. Right there. Yeah, Flyer 3F might surprise you. I haven't really seen him play DDD at all in any you of these brackets. You know he runs his and he's pretty good with it. I've seen him do Meta Knight as well. He just likes he to play Meta Knight Yeah, he has a good Meta Knight. He played Meta Knight last match. I think he just loves uh, the Kirby franchise, apparently. It could be. Yeah. Got a little, they're they're it, all a little floaty. It's maybe, just a little different moveset. Maybe you grew up on a has a bit of a nostalgia attachment to him, you know? That's very true. Kirby games are fun, though. You know, Red Fox here grew up doing his Sega with his Sonic, and that's why he's still I didn't even them. have a Nintendo system until, like, 2008. Man, that's, that's why he also got into Smash during Brawl and uses the stupid nunchucks. <laughs> that's, that's but the that's nunchuck. neither here nor there. It looks like DVD is really just taking a beating here. What is here is that DVD is at 167. And the, Gordos, the Gordos have actually hurt quite a bit. Yeah. From what I've seen. That's really the best way to oh, play wow. against DVD. They love good Gordos, but if you can hit them back, then they're great. They're very much your friend, the right. opponent. He's got the banana in hand, he's ready to trip. Looking all quite you know what you with that banana, it's great. There it is. Yes, right on top of that back hair. You don't have to throw it out either, they just have to run near it. You just have to let his jet see sit there, but then the other people will yeah. catch it too. Oh, okay. Oh, he's in Taurus, right. He came, yeah, he came back in Taurus, right. Yeah, I'm still waiting. We're waiting for losers. Uh, I yeah, got to face Dave. This is a uh, third round, so this is uh, where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the three of us are all in different uh, round threes, which is what's going on right here. So it looks like we'll be fighting each other here soon. Oh, baby. That's going to be high. exciting. This match is pretty high. Yeah. Diddy Kong is really just racking Diddy's up so much damage. trying to work his way back. And with all the kill moves he has, he can get it at 115. He should have gotten it much earlier. The problem is he just can't get a solid move in. Right. If Diddy, Diddy is flying around too much. There's more Gordos and the Bananas. Items galore here, you know? Items galore! Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like DDD, uh, Flyer hasn't been playing him enough, it seems like, to execute those kill moves uh, yeah. with ease. And I, I, I don't know if he was thinking very much, but like against the Diddy Kong that he's playing against, a lot of speed, a lot of speed deficit there. Oh, yeah. A lot of DDs are very slow, with the exception of the neutral air that almost, that almost killed him there. That one comes out in, like, in one frame, frame. maybe. It's yeah, quick. That's not, not like one, one, but it's quick. Yeah. Finally, taking the first stock off of Diddy. Now, he's got the power to kill early. He might be able to salvage something, but it looks like he's not going to make it back yeah, to the Yeah, he's got quickly. max rage going on here. I mean, I don't know. If he can start getting a combo going on, he's already got 30 damage. Yeah, Gordo, that one Gordo itself did 34. I mean... It was a couple hit Gordo, but still. Yeah. Diddy's just really racking up more damage. Might get a late kill move, but... 
There it is. Back. That'll do oh, it. Man. Oh, it was a taunt. Clappy. The clippity clap. He just started banging his hands together. Oh. Just disrespectful. Alrighty. I'll we'll give one to the nephew. He is not the leader of the DK crew. He is probably second in command. I would say so. And they're also not the only family relation in the game, because you have the Mario Brothers. And the dads. And the magic And the bad dad crew with the Bowser Jr. Children, the dads. They're the not related. Is, they're brothers. They're not related. I'm making that up. <laughs> However, Lucas does have a palette swap. Alright, we're going to see a switcher to Mewtwo. That Mewtwo's a different pick that Mewtwo went late and real low, you know? I almost picked him up just because he was cheap, but I had a couple of those, so I decided to let him go. I didn't think I'd use him much. Oh, okay. I did not know Flyer grabbed Mewtwo. Yeah, it's a bit of a change. And it's, it just with DDD, I've never really seen him play much Mewtwo before. Right. The thing with Mewtwo is he has a lot of power, but he's also very light and kind of big, too. Yeah. Easy targets hit and just dive so big. But maybe that power can make up for what we'll see. Diddy Kong trying to get that banana, but we got to reflect there. Very good move. Down tilt. That's the down tilt. Okay, that's the side tilt. YouTube's reflector actually can be used as kind of a cover. Boosts him up. YouTube tries to take the first shot with that front end. Almost got it, too. Of which he has two. The up one the back one both kill fairly low Oh well with an F smash, Mewtwo taking that first stock off of Diddy. Yeah. Now, this is apparently a much better matchup. I haven't seen him with Mewtwo much, but he's he's working a lot of space. I, I don't think a lot of people know what to do against Mewtwo, because he's not all that calm. Yeah, we don't really have anybody that plays Mewtwo around here. Pat uh, used to for like a couple weeks, and then he switched over to Bowser. So not uh, really, nobody has practice and on Mewtwo. Mewtwo really wasn't even that prominent in Melee, so I don't, people don't really carry yeah. over that much. He brought a lot of hype in this match for but really not a lot of use. Yeah. He did bring in a ton of hype. I, ton I, tool, of hype. I tool around with the Mewtwo. He's, he's very, I very, like much, very much in the air. Always like watching Mewtwo matches. Every he's a little unorthodox in the air, but that quick... Real quick and real high second jump. Did he call him those bananas in again? Most of the time you see him really using a lot a lot of that a lot of that confusion for recovery. It works well because they with they fend you off with the projectiles. Yeah, just just a little bit, and it's enough to be safe enough for a projectile that's being thrown at you to keep you off the edge. More grab throws that he can work into combos. It at least gets him off the edge. Yeah, it hurts 11 or so. It's a good combo move. The Nair can I really... I love Mewtwo's Nair. Mewtwo Nair to bring you down. To bring so you easy. down. Brings you all the way down the bottom of the stage. Yes, you know what you're talking you about. You can combo into it. Nair. Alright. We got ourselves a match. Mewtwo's a little behind, but Mewtwo probably does have more power out of this match. Unexpe he has unexpected, tons of power, unexpectedly. But at it's going to be a little With a little bit of rage and an up That's smash, you can get it. Him, yeah. You know? Very close match. Mewtwo's light, though. Second lightest or third? I think he's maybe three. Game Watch, I think, is still at two. Alright. That makes sense, because Game Watch is two dimensions. <laughs> Watch the trip. The trip. Oh, that might, be, that might do it. The throw kill. Oh, oh. The trip into the throw kill. The forward throw, even. Not many people can do a oh, forward, forward throw kill. Against Mewtwo, you can't. Well, <laughs> he, he was hiding against Mewtwo, but still, a forward throw is normally not their best one because you're already facing. 